For those of you that don't know, I was excluded from school for crashing my car into the school disco. And school was never really something I enjoyed. I got decent grades. I was tried to be as polite and respectful to the teachers as possible. I had good friends, you know. But I just didn't enjoy school. School wasn't for me. I didn't enjoy getting told what to do. I didn't enjoy learning at that point. I just wasn't bothered, right? And since getting excluded from school, which happened multiple times, but since getting excluded from sixth form, I think I was 17 or 18 when that happened, that's when things really started to take a turn for me. That's when the pendulum dropped and I started to come to some realizations. So I'm 23 now and it's been, well, six years since this crash happened and I was excluded from school. Now, since then, I wrote a book about crashing my car into school and about mental health and young people, which was published. I've started multiple different businesses. I've, you know, uh, invested into stocks, crypto, property. I've done a lot. I've worked in the NHS. I've been a care worker. I've worked in a warehouse. I've done loads, right? And now at 23 years old, six years later, after volunteering in different countries, traveling in different countries, doing a whole boat of things, I'm now back and starting a diploma. <laughs> so I'm back at school after all these years. And the diploma that I'm studying is the Professional Diploma in Coaching and Mentoring. And also uh, it is ICF and EMCC certified. And I'm also getting my mental health and well-being coaching and mentoring diploma alongside this. I've been coaching and mentoring for about a year now, but just having this diploma and this certification behind me will just give me more credibility. And I'm also meeting cool people. I'm getting involved into some circles that I never thought I'd you know, get involved in. And I'm learning a lot, right? And... What I've learned over the years as well is that whether you're at uni, whether you're at work, whether you just read books, whatever it is you do, continuously learning is the key to longevity. You have to continuously be learning new things. You can't be stagnant. You can't be in one place and think that you know everything for the rest of your life because you don't. Looking back at when I was 18, times when I thought I knew absolutely everything, now at 23 I look back and go, what an absolute sausage. He didn't know anything. And now at 23, rather than thinking I know everything, and looking back when I'm 30 and thinking the same thing, I realise and understand and acknowledge that I know nothing. <laughs> I know little to nothing, right? But I'm continuously learning, I'm continuously testing myself, I'm continuously trying new things. And now I'm back doing a diploma, doing a diploma, and here I am, building something, right? And so today is, let me actually check what day I'm on. I think it's six, maybe it might be seven. Today I am on day seven of this 365 day challenge where I'm posting a video on YouTube every single day for 365 days and seeing where I end up. And today is diploma day, it's course day, it's school day. I'm back at school, it's a school day, right, for me. So... From 10 till 4, I'm on calls, I'm on Zoom, I've got assignments coming up and assessments coming up in January. I've got to read uh, books to be assessed on. One of the books that I'm reading right now is the Coactive Coaching, which is has this which is which was wrote by the same author who wrote The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. If you've not read that book, make sure you read that one as well, because that is great. And so kind of to get to the actual point about this video, about what I'm really trying to get to you guys, is the people going through school, the youth that are going through school, and going through, uh, whether that be secondary school, college or university, have so much potential to do whatever they wanna do in life. They're young, they're hungry, they've still not even decided where and what direction they wanna go down yet. They are in a season of huge potential that they don't even realize. And I was one of them who didn't realize it back then. And 
I think now, and I could be wrong, but I think now more and more and more people are not realizing what they have and they don't take advantage of it. They don't appreciate it for what it is and they end up missing out on all of this good stuff that they don't think is good because it might not seem cool and it might not seem fun at the time. But life isn't easy, nothing easy is worth doing and you have to do hard things in order to get to where you need to be. Yes. Flipping out, these postmen are getting louder and louder. I thought someone was kicking my door in. Right, I've got four minutes before this um, day starts. What was I saying? Um, I completely lost my train of thought there. But yeah, so the world then hits them. It then hits them. And they then realise, and they slowly start to realise more and more and more and more and more that they didn't take things seriously, now they don't have a good job, and now they can't pay the bills, and now they're just in a mess. Luckily for me, I always had a kind of a business mind, so I was always making money, I was always doing something, it was a little bit different, right? And I've always had a very strong network of people around me to keep me grounded and to help me out. A lot of people aren't lucky enough to have that. But to conclude, because I'm going to be late if I don't, understand that life is going to hit you like a ton of bricks as soon as you go out into the world and you have to start fending for yourself. And you have to realize, which is a lot easier said than done, but you have to realize that, you, that these foundations that you're building throughout these years of school, of secondary school, of college, of university are important. They're more important than you can ever realize, right? Without foundations, without stability, without knowledge, without education, it's going to be a tough ride. It's going to be a tough journey and you may or may not be in for a massive shock. So, that's my opinion. I'm not sure if you agree with it or not, but there you go. Now, it's college day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for day eight and we'll see what I've ended up doing. God bless. Bow.